Hey there friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey everyone, welcome back to Weekly Vlogmas. So, I was meant, I was originally planning on doing four weekly Vlogmases for four weeks of Christmas of December. However, um, I'm deciding to, decided to merge weeks three and four into one video as basically kind of apart from the stuff going on the weekend, nothing's really very interesting the weekend in between them. So I decided to merge, merge the two um, last two together. So I hope you don't mind. Um, but today is Thursday. I think it's like the 13th today. Um, and I'm starting this week's weekly vlog in exactly the same way as started last week's with an ASOS haul even flipping bigger than last week's um, so if you've been around these parts for a while you'll know that me and my dad are going to New York for Christmas so that is kind of why I've merged them together as on the Sunday of what would be the fourth weekly vlog at the end of it we're flying to New York um, so I'm going to be probably doing two vlogs while I'm in New York maybe one, it just depends how much I remember to vlog um, but definitely one, maybe two so um, I've ordered some bits for that, so I thought I would show you guys again what I got in from ASOS. Um, there's some stuff that I'm definitely keeping. I got two t two coats with the con the thought that I'd probably send one back, but you never know. And then a pair of trousers that were a big wild card. Um, so I shall, I'm gonna try. I'll show you. I'll get them a packet and then I'll try them on, and I'm gonna go and put some washing on, I'll be really domestic, and eat some tea. Um, I, as I said, it's Thursday today. I, didn't, I haven't vlogged early in the week as um, yesterday, Wednesday was our work Christmas party, so we didn't get back to like half 11. The day before, um, basically, I was the first one up. So as I, I had to turn on the lights on as I was going downstairs to get my breakfast, um, I'm on the third floor, got to the second floor landing. Instead of stopping to turn the light on, I stepped and turned the light on and slipped and like fell down four, ste four steps. So I like, wrecked my shoulders and back. Um, like necky shoulders back so wasn't feeling it that day but I'm here now and um, I was originally gonna vlog packing but I thought I did it on Tuesday pretty much and um, but I I'll try and remember to like you know show you guys everything else that's going on as this weekend should actually be pretty fun and um, so yeah right I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna show you what's in here if we can get in it it's flipping big actually came yesterday but as I said I didn't go at half 11 and the neighbours had it so I didn't want to like knock on their door at half 11 and be like can I have my parcel please so I went after work today okay so the first thing is a petite red coat from some, a brand called a brand called Brave Soul never heard of that before a brand called Brave Soul I then got some gloves, just some like ASOS own um, gloves. Now I have gloves, but the but all my gloves are fingerless, so my fingers get real get cold. But I always do it because then I can use my phone. So I got some of the um, touchscreen gloves. These were the sale for like three quid, and it's re the recycled. Um, so yeah, I got them because they like touchscreen, so I can use my phone. They, they, I'm not gonna lie, they look a bit big, so I've got quite a small hands, but I can pull them off. I then got a red beanie from Weekday, which again was in the sale. That was my phone. You currently sat on my phone. So you you sit on like a tower of books on my bedside table and I just finished my book. My book was like a thousand pages. So that's why you're normally quite a bit higher up. So I kind of got my phone underneath you to wedge you up it. Um, but yeah, red beanie um, from Weekday that I'd had my eye on for a while. Um, and then got some petite flared ASOS trousers. These are the wild card. And then, last but by no means least, I got a leopard print faux fur coat from ASOS. I wanted this in the petites, but they only had it in a size 10 and a size 14, and it was really oversized on the model. So I got the normal, so I got the normal one. And we shall see. As said, originally I got these things, but they are hope slash idea that I would only keep one of the coats but knowing me I probably won't. Other thing, one minute. On, on Monday night I finished my beloved book um, King, Kingdom of Shadow, Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas which is the final book in the Throne of Glass series. I have been reading this since 2015. I've got book reviews of every single book in this series on my channel 
um, I finished it, I cried. I've cried on trains, on tubes, I've been, been internally cheering on public transport. Um, I kind of feel like a part of me is missing now that I've finished the series, like it's so fucking good. But I'm gonna this weekend film a full video review of this. So this is what you were sat on top of, along with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or eight, well, five other books and two notebooks you were sat on this. That's why you're a bit lower down than usual. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna film a full video review for that because it, it is glorious. And if, you, if you're into fantasy books and you've not read the Fair Throne of Glass series, what planet have you been on? Go and do it now. What it starts out as is not what it ends as. Um, the last sort of three books are my favourites, like, ever. They're so good. And I think this, I'm not going to lie, potentially my favourite book of all time. Big statement for me, but it's up there. Right, I'm going to have some water, and I'm going to try these things on, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so this is the leopard print coat. I absolutely love this. Um... I got a size 8 in the ordinary and it fits great. I've got this jumper on underneath but it's not that thick but I, I can tell I would get like a jumper, a thicker jumper on underneath and it's like a really nice length on me where it's not cropped but it's not too long. So I've got quite, I've got some other faux fur coats that are quite a bit longer than this and they get a bit overwhelming um, but I absolutely love this and um, I really want to see what, I'm going to see what it looks like with that red hat because I think that they would look really great together um, and like a lot of faux fur jackets can be really bulky but this kind of feels like a nice in between of not being too thin but not being too like I am a marshmallow. And then this sit with a weekday hat, please ignore the um, tag but I love this and it's so festive and the colours go really well together. like I would just wear, probably just wear this outfit to be honest but Hobbs a different jumper. Um, so yeah, super happy with this. Um, I said I was definitely keeping the hat and the gloves anyway. Um, I'm now a little bit worried about the jacket, the other jacket, because I was originally planning on sending one back. Um, so, yeah, but this is like flipping up the dream. And then this is the red coat. Um, let me... Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Um, so I really wanted to like this. It's, little, it's coming quite orange in the camera, but it's actually more ready. Um, but... Is there pocket? There is pockets. Um, I was expecting to really like this and have like an issue, but actually um, the fabric isn't what I was expecting. Um, and it kind of flares out at the bottom, like kind of goes whoop. Um, so yeah, this can go back like, I really wanted to like it, but I'm just not that bothered. So I will send this back and potentially just take a different blazer with me. Um, but yeah, I, was, I think I was expecting it to be maybe, because it's petite, a bit shorter, um, a bit skinnier, um, and I'm just not sure, so this can go back. And then these are the trousers, and I was really not expecting to um, to like these, but I actually really do, because um, the flare is so, like, small, you can't really even tell, and... Um, just like a little pet plum at the bottom of them. There's no pockets, which is a bit annoying, but they're super comfortable. Like it's just like an elasticated waist, um, really comfy. So I actually think I'm gonna keep these, um, just because they're so flipping comfortable. Um, I think they're in like 15, 20 pounds. Um, yeah. So that's a surprise. I think the more I thought about these, the more I was like, hmm, probably not. But actually. I think I quite like them, so I think I'm going to keep these. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep these and be brave. Hi everyone! It's um, Saturday today. Saturday, I think it's like the 15th. Um, it's really nice outside. I'll shut this one up there so you can't see my head in the back of me. Um, so it's currently... It's a horrible noise. It's currently 10 to 12. I've got um, a hairdress appointment and an eyebrow appointment this afternoon. Um, so I'm going there and then this evening we have the second meetup of the Little Lonely Girls Club at St. Josephine in Shoreditch, which should be super fun. Um, so I can take you guys all along for that. I need to also go and get a birthday card for my granddad at some point this afternoon. Um, um, it's now, I don't need to until half past 12, but I need to film a YouTube video. Technically I need to film two, but I don't know if I'll have time, so I'm going to definitely film one, maybe film the other one tomorrow afternoon. Um, my friend came over last night, she had, we had a sleepover, um, 
we watched basically watched a load of Christmas specials on Netflix. I had pizza, which was really nice. I didn't film anything because we were just sat on my bed eating pizza. I don't know what noises, but it's horrible. Um, we were just sat on my bed eating pizza, watching TV, watching Netflix. So that wouldn't have been too interesting for you guys, but I'm just gonna put my clothes on and set up to film at least one video. Hopefully two, I hope that I will see. With boughs of holly, tis the season to be jolly. Well, so I got back like an hour or so ago from town. As you can see, I had my hair cut, so I've had it cut quite a lot. Um, but I got absolutely drenched on the way home, so I'm gonna. And the guy did my hair and like. My hair straightness. Did my hair, it did the part in in like a really weird place. I've moved it back, but I'm just about to start getting ready to go out now. So I'm gonna like re, I'm gonna like try and straighten this bit down and curl it a little bit. It's a little bit shorter than I potentially wanted, um, but it'll grow. Um, and then I also got my eyebrows done, maybe you can tell. And then I picked up some dollars for New York. Um, so I'm just getting back ready now. You might be able to hear it's absolutely shutting down, so I'm probably going to need to get a taxi to the train station. Um, I'm just getting ready now to go to tonight, Josephine Shoreditch, for some drinks. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get ready and try and make myself look somewhat presentable. Hi everyone. Oh, I'm not in focus. Focus now. So I'm ready to go. I've got this top album from Boohoo, my trusty black... Um, Top shop jeans, some boohoo or ASOS boots, and this is me, my new hair. I'm ready to go. I've just had a bit of a fight with a pin um, to get a pin in the right place here, but I think I'm gonna get an Uber to the train station so I don't end up completely soaked. <laughs> So it's Sunday today, it's currently 10 to 12, I've actually been up for ages, so my dad has been to pick up my suitcase from New York, for New York, and to also um, pick up the Christmas presents, I got them all, um, and he, he's since been and left, um, I'm feeling not great today, I'm due on my period and that's not helping, but also, so I noticed this morning that I think I kind of noticed last night, but I wasn't sure if it was just like the way my hair was. That the guy that cut my hair, like one side, you can't really see in this light. Let me turn around. One side, this side, it's a little bit longer than this side. And I don't know what to do about it. I'm thinking I might just go and get some scissors and have a go at sorting it. Because my dad said, my dad could kind of tell. And I feel like if my dad can tell, then other people might be able to. So I might go and see if I can like sort it. I'm a little bit terrified, but I kind of don't know what else there is I can do. I don't know if you can really see. Yeah, you can. This side is slightly longer than this side. So that's not ideal. Hi everyone, so it's now I past four. Um I've just got back from Tesco to pick up some bits for the week. Um also on the head barcode so now might be, I think you can kind of just tell that now this side is longer than this side I am um, got the scissors out we know it's outside got the scissors out and to cut this side down a bit and when I've got it behind my ear I feel perfect it's just the fronty bit but like this bit but unless you're like really paying attention you won't notice and I feel like a lot less self-conscious about it like got me down earlier because I was like I've just got my hair cut it's not right so I got the scissors out I mean it was very dangerous of me and I probably shouldn't because knowing me it would have gone spectacularly wrong but I think it's alright 
and I've got two more presents to wrap so I'm going to do those now and then I'm going to chill. I'm feeling really anxious today, really anxious so I'm just going to maybe watch some PTK or I think I want to start watching Vicar of Dibley and I think I found a link for it over the weekend like yesterday or maybe Friday so I might start watching that too because I feel like I'll, my friend said that she thinks I'll really like that so I might start watching that. Like the heart when join the chorus from work it's monday the just gonna check. i think it's the 17th yes monday the 17th of december my final week at work before christmas um and i just wanted to show you what i picked up on my way home because i thought it might be of interest i'll just get them out of my bag whilst i have the bag open right. okay so, oh, that's not, you can already see that. Um, so, I am running out by of concealer, base concealer. So, I use one concealer for my, um, like, spots and blemishes, and then one concealer for my under eyes. It's a bit lighter. And I'm running out of that. I'm running out of eye makeup remover, and I'm running out of my um, makeup remover. Now, just before I came to London, I found out that Superdrug had got their own dupe of the Lizzle Hot Cloth Cleanser. So, I brought that, and... Um, for that when I came, moved to London, it's like four ninety nine, and I moved to London nearly three months ago, and it's only just started running out. Um, and so I picked up another one of those. Again, it's like four ninety nine plus. It comes with a muslin cloth, and it's been so good. Like my skin's had no issues with it. It takes everything off really nicely. So I'd highly recommend this if you're looking for a dupe of the Lizelle, um cleanse and polish because this is fantastic. It's the Superdrug Vitamin E Skincare Hot Cloth Cleanser. It says it's for normal dry skin, but I have, I have combination skin, so I have oily skin, but like really dry patches, and this has been fine. Um, they also, the same as last time I was in Superdrug, didn't have my, please excuse my hair, for some reason like parts of the curls dropped out really strangely. <laughs> I'm also having to duck down because you're not as high up as you used to be when I had the Alison Page book on top of the stack. Um, but last time I went to Superdrug, they didn't have my eye makeup remover, so I had to get a different one. But then realised I'd got two uh, at home, so I brought them, bought, bought it with me. Or I got one at home that I brought with me. And it was a buy one, get one free in Superdrug on skincare. So I picked up the sister product to the Hot Cloth Cleanser, which is the gentle eye makeup remover from the Superdrug own brand vitamin e skincare line it's just this don't smell anything it's just this i think this was originally like two quid or something um or maybe like three pounds and then as i said i need to get some concealer and so what i do is i have like my tinted moisturizer and then i put the collection lasting perfection concealer on in shade two just move off of it on my like spots and blemishes so like these areas and anywhere I've got like a spot or a blemish I put um the last and fetch concealer and number two um cool medium and then I put number one under my eyes um because I have really dark under eye circles so that kind of helps balance them but today I noticed that they got 
um, two new shades in collection, Last Imperfection Concealer. One A, which was cool, cool fair or light fair, and one B, which was warm fair. Um, so I picked up, now these two are, are next to each other. Let me turn this light off, it's a bit orangey. Okay, that doesn't help. Um, so these are the two. You really can't see, but um, the two is obviously what I use normally on my base, and then the one B is this new one that looks slightly darker slash more orangier. But I thought I would give it a go and see if it's any different, any better, any worse. Um, as I'm running out of my base concealer, um, so that's what I picked up from Super York on my way home. And now I'm gonna get changed put my jams on and um, plenty of people in my house is cooking dinner tonight which was very kind of them um so I'll see you guys probably either tomorrow or the day after christmas chorus on Friday evening, Friday the 21st of December obviously um, and today was my last day at work before Christmas. I'm going to end this week's, week, this week's weekly vlogmas here. This is the final vlogmas for 2018. Apologies that there's only been three vlogs for this year's vlogmas but I kind of just, as I said at the beginning, decided to merge um, three and four just because I knew that I probably wouldn't have like enough stuff to do two. Um, I hope this week's this week's weekly vlogmas has been remotely interesting. I was planning on filming packing, but then completely forgot on both occasions. Um, but tomorrow I'm heading home. Now the reason I'm not vlogging tomorrow is basically because our internet is so rubbish at home that I wouldn't be able to get the video up in time. Um, so I'm kind of having to end it now so I can get it uploaded and ready for you guys. But tomorrow I'm, I'm going home, then the 23rd we are flying to New York, so I will be vlogging a whole New York trip, potentially planning on doing two vlogs rather than just one. Um, so those will be coming up very, very soon, so please subscribe if you want to see those, as hopefully they should be very interesting. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I shall see you guys soon. Bye.